Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. Now, last time we had our first real setback of the campaign with Edwardin's gamble. He gambled against Captain Monke, or I can't remember who it was actually who they were actually called, but it was a real, real shock and a really, really strong force that we had to fight there. Um, and we lost, but luckily they ransomed us back, which was very nice of them. So thank you for that. We kept Edward in at least, <laughs> but for this second battle, we have Norway over here fighting against Captain Yumrook, who does have some Lok Gambrim, which is a bit scary. And then some Lok Flagrim in the other army as well. But apart from that, we have a lot of cavalry. They've only got one dragon rider. So I'm sure we're going to be okay. Although our cavalry is not the greatest, I'm sure we'll be fine. We've got Norway as well. Norway the Conqueror, which is a fantastic name. So let's get going. Let's uh, let's fight the battle. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. And not the worst battle map. Not the greatest either. But we'll take a defensive position, of course, like we should. Just got to be wary of their skirmishers because, you know, they have some decent skirmishers. We'll use these boys on the flanks as usual. They're the better flanking forces. And actually, we'll spread these boys out a bit further. I know it's quite a thin line, but it should be fine for whatever we want to do. Um, and then we'll get our archer boys in behind with no way, of course, in behind as well. Ready to fire upon the Lok Gamp Rim and all of those. And in terms of our cavalry, I don't think... We need to be too worried about what's going to happen with their cavalry. And just go to whichever side their cavalry goes to. Oh, the other men are coming in from this way. That's not ideal. Um, so, <laughs> how far away are they? They're quite far away. We could get you boys running. And uh, get you boys here. We can try and take out this army nice and quickly. That'll be great. We'll leave our archers there just to deal with deal with them as they come. And we'll get our cavalry over this flank. Come on, boys. Hurry up. This is really important. How far? Yeah, they're not going to get there, are they? But luckily, we can just try and take these guys out straight away. I'm hoping we don't get sandwiched. <laughs> So I might move my archers back this way slightly. Just to try and make sure we don't get sandwiched. You guys get in there. You guys get into the crossbowmen. And you guys get into the Lok Flag Rim. We'll get our Swordmasters around as well. In fact, we're probably better with our cavalry on the other side. You guys get your spear wall now. Crossbowmen, the hunters are not going to be too happy about this, are they? That's fine. This side, we don't have that far to go. So what I'm going to do, bring the cavalry back around. And they can do what they want. Yeah, we'll go deal with those hunters. If we can, uh, you know, catch that bodyguard as well. Got to be slightly, you know, wary of the bodyguard and stuff. And try and try to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Get over here, boys. Get over here. And then we can charge through this Baroon Hunter and then get round the back. The Amanyar, not the Amanyar, I keep saying that, I don't know why. The Swordmasters actually got a charge off on the uh, the Bodyguard, but the Bodyguard isn't going to be great. And of course, remember, we've got to try and kill everyone here, which is slightly scary. So let's come through. Let's get through them. Don't want to deal with them too much. Uh, and I think, first things first, let's go for a charge there. And hopefully it's a good charge. Come on, boys. That doesn't look like it's going to be the greatest charge. But get a charge, please. A good charge. There we are. There we are. Good charge, eventually. Good, 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 good. We've got to kill this general, and then the rest of them will just rout. Get out, boys. Get out. Before they turn around. So now we've got a bit of a problem. Luckily, we do have the Moriquendi Sentinels in here. And they'll be able to just deal some damage to whoever charges us. So get them. So this is going to be a bit messy, I would say, this battle. That should hopefully break these guys. Really? Come on. They've only got 50 men left. 
Let's get out again. Let's get out. The archers, you're just going to have to deal with whatever. You guys turn around. Deal with them. And let's charge that bodyguard once again. Come on, boys. Big charge. Let's go. This is really, really important that we get rid of this bodyguard as quick as possible. That charge didn't do the most amount of damage you've ever seen. But luckily, we're managing to stave them off a little bit. Let's get the Light of Elbereth again. Keep firing, no way. Keep firing. Who is that? Dragon, Dragon Guard, guys. There's not many of them, is there? Come on, boys. Quick, quick, quick. Get away from them. They're spearmen. That should really... Surely this is going to break them now. That should have killed, like, all of them then on that charge. Surely. Come on. That was terrible. Get out, boys. Get out. Oof. Our cavalry is the only thing that can save us here now. So, let's charge into the back of these boys. I think that's going to be more important. I'm trying to break this mass. So that we can turn around. <laughs> That should have been a really good charge there. Oh, it was. Fantastic. Now out. Now out, boys. Out. Then we'll charge the bodyguard once again. And if we can kill him, hopefully we can mass route this, this singular army. And, uh, yeah. No way. Just keep firing in there. Into the general once again, boys. Come on. Good charge, please. Not the greatest. There we are. That's better. Surround them. Okay, good. We've just killed a load of them there. Very good. Let's come back. Let's do that again. So, how are we doing over here? We've got so little infantry. That is the problem right now. And he's still got low gamp rim as well. Oof. It's not ideal. Not ideal. Let's get into there. The low gamp rim. Oh, they are the spearmen. Yeah. Yeah, we're just... I don't know whether we're going to be able to do this. I should not have a... You know, tried to kill this army so quickly, knowing knowing what uh, what this game's like. <laughs> we do still have Norway, though, which is good. And we do still have a lot of cavalry. So surely that general's going to die soon. Come on. Please let him die. Right, cavalry, let's get out here. Let's get out. And let's get the Light of Elbereth if we can. Not quite yet. Kill that general. That is the most important thing we've got here. Who are you? Daratai clansman. I, I mean, we could probably even break these guys in one charge if it's a good one. Okay, they've gone fully charged this time. That should really just shred these boys. Yeah, look at that. Oh, half them. More than half them. They lost 100 men in that charge. Surely they're going to break. There we are. Broken. Let's kill all of them. How is he not dead yet? Come on, this guy must have them out a million hit points. Lost half of our men, really. I thought we'd lose, lost more than that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can't even see our men in here. So we're going to have to just go for a big charge right into the back of the Balkov Spearmen, if we can. You guys are still firing. So are the Sentinels. You fire at the Lok Gamrim. Kill this general, for God's sake. How long is it going to take? That should have been a really good charge. Yep, it was, even though it was spearmen. Hopefully it was into the back of them. I couldn't really tell. <laughs> right, Swordmasters, you're just going to have to hang on for as long as possible. Light of Elberth again. Uh, you guys need to fire at the Lok Gamp Rim. Right, let's get into... I'm hoping it's the back of these guys again. Come on, it's got to be a big charge. I know you're tired, boys. I know you're tired. But this is so important that we get this get this right now. We've made a few errors in this battle so far. Why in, when is that general going to fucking die, bro? Come on. Really? Oh, is this their... I'm assuming this is their other general, so... I don't know, actually. Maybe it was the Daratai clansmen. I don't think it was these boys. Yeah, must be these Daratai clansmen. There he is. Right, I'm going to send uh, send one of the Rovanians over there. And then you two can keep on going. Because I want to kill that general so we can get some good routes off. Our infantry is just shredded right now. We're going to have to rely on the Moriquendi Sentinels so much to hold the line. Finally! Good lord! 
It took forever. It took forever. Hopefully that charge should break these boys. Come on. You guys need to kill that general for God's sake. Come on. Run. How many have we killed? 90%. So we just need to kill that Lok Gamrim really now. Let's go after those Daratai hunters. I just want to fire at the Lok Gamrim for as long as possible. And then we can use Nerway. Come on, boys. Kill this fool. I don't think we need to, actually. Come back across. He's not an actual general. I don't think he is, anyway. He's just a captain. Privateer Axeman. You get in there. Right, they're gonna, they're gonna come into our Moriquendi Sentinels. Oh, there we are. Let's get them. Quick, quick, quick. Keep firing. Keep firing. Keep running. Go. Yes, 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 yes. That should be everyone. So let's exit the battle. Oh, it was it was tight, and now we have no infantry. <laughs> but we killed so many. One thousand three hundred and eighty-one. Well done, boys. The Sentinels doing the most again. And then the Riders doing quite well. The Vineyard Bowmen, always surprise, always surprise. Darwinian Infantry, 191 as well. Um, but yeah, in terms of healing, a few of the Bladesmen. We have no infantry now. <laughs> so we're going to need to get some. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And of course, we're going to execute so we can take the city. Ah, god damn. We got ransomed and then he's just come back. So what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to do a long retreat. So I'll cut that out. Um, it is allowing us to withdraw, so we should be able to withdraw from the battle as well and do a long retreat. So we shall see. Here we are, guys. And they have run away quite far, which is great. And now we're getting attacked at Viltor. Who would have thought that the, uh, the, the, the goddamn, you know, rune would not be a problem at all until they were pretty much destroyed? It's so weird. But anyway, let's, uh, we will fight this because we want to kill as many men as possible. Here we are. And unfortunately, it is just wooden walls. I thought it was actually not wooden walls. But for now, we're going to just set up our men over here. And we'll use our archers to fire down into the enemy when they get in, like we did last time. So let's start the battle and let's speed it up. Because first of all, they're probably just going to use the ballista. To fire at the walls. Which is fine. The, the big problem I'm worried about is the uh, the cavalry. They will really shred our vineyard levies. Our vineyard levies are not good. <laughs> Two attack is never great. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. Hopefully they last long enough for the vineyard bowmen to use all their arrows. Because that's the most important thing. But I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Um... But yeah, who would have thought? Rune was, Rune was a walkover until this point. Now, they're an absolute beast. I don't know. <laughs> you know, now they're, now they're unbelievably good. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So now they're attacking this wall, and they're not attacking the gate. So we'll probably just put our spearmen there and hope that no one goes to attack our vineyard bowmen. Uh, that's the best tactic I think we've got. Because rather than spreading them really thin... Out across here. Let's just hope they go straight for our levies. Because that's the, the the unit in front of them, should we say. Normally they do this and then just go through the gate anyway. So maybe we can position at the gate. Um, oh, nope. Here they come. So let's be uh, sensible. Let's get forward. Come on, boys. Go run, run, run. Before the uh, cavalry get in. Get firing at them. Here come the cavalry. Should be firing. Yeah, that should be doing some damage, surely. Come on. Don't know what this dragon rider's doing. Going around the other way. Get in there, if you can. So now it just looks like they're just going to come through this one. So we can kind of, like, block it off. Like, across this way. Here we are. And then you boys, you can start firing at the hunters now. The hunters shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm more worried... Yeah, the tribesmen. Let's get rid of those tribesmen. Now let's get here. Get running, boys. The dragon riders. Yeah, they're going to be a problem. Shoot at them. I don't mind a bit of friendly fire. Not going to lie. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> get in position. Is that their general? 
It would be funny if it was. They didn't get a good charge off, which is fantastic for us. So, yeah. Shoot at those Daratai crossbowmen now. Should be able to fire at them. Ooh, this is going to be tough. But anyway, it's fine. Oof, this is not going to be great. Them coming in the back. Should get some good shots off, though. Yeah. We're shredding them. Now we just rely on our, on our levies. On our spearmen. No, now the general's dead. That's really bad for us because our guys do not have good morale. You could fire at them. That'd be great. I'll speed it up again. And they still have a ballista left. Now let's go and kill the Daratai crossbowmen if we can. Or at least hold them off for as long as possible. It'd be better if we could, you know, uh, flank them, but it's just not going to be possible. The one thing I'm worried about is if these guys rout, I think our levies will rout as well. But we've done a bit of damage to them, 39%. Not amazing, but not terrible either. You guys get there now. Get into the hunters. Oh, god damn. I didn't expect them to rout, to rout on, the, uh, on the charge. But we killed 200. No, we killed 150. <laughs> Oh, god damn rune. Where has this come from? Where was this before? But we will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And they have taken Viltor. God damn it. I mean, it's not going to be too much of a problem. Ah. Well, our ship's destroyed as well. <laughs> god damn. Where? Oh, yeah. You were just going up to Dorflu just for a bit of a laugh. So, <laughs> you'll die. <laughs> yeah, there we are. <laughs> Well, at least we've taken Varfest. That's something that's good. <laughs> that's one good thing. Um, and we just really need some troops. And I'm assuming now that we've lost so many troops, we're probably going to have a load of money this turn. So we'll have plenty of money to recruit some more troops, uh, get them going to the front line as quick as possible because we really, really do need them. <laughs> Especially for Norway. I think Avalyn is fine. And once we've got Edward in back with him, uh, we should be we should be quite good. Also, I'm s I swear fourth win didn't die. I swear fourth win was captured. Um, trade agreement with dwarves of Khazad Doom. Yeah, I can, can do that. Yes. Your orders. So let's go. Uh, Impossible. Talk to these guys. We can actually go to the fort if we can find it. Where is it? There we are. Oh, they've got a nice bit of an army in there as well. Alliance with you, dwarves, please. No. How about some map information for, you know, some cash? Thousand, maybe? Yep, accepted. Good, 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 good. At least something's going right for us today. <laughs> Let's come down and speak to Rohan, etc. Settlement occupied, Viltor, we know. Luckily, we are training a few troops in there, or we were. It's only one, two, and two turns until we can get some more elves. Which is fantastic. We're also getting the Avari Armory up here. So, and we've got Captain Edric. Yes. We've got you. So, Captain e Eric, sorry, should I say, is coming down this way. They shouldn't go after Burr Emericus now. What do they have? Probably not that much. They shouldn't go after Burr Emericus because it's not actually, you know, next to anything that they, uh, that they want. This place is not great. We also don't know where that army is. If I put a watchtower down, can we see it? Yes. No. So, could we reach there? It's going to be really tight between Edward and... In fact, Edward and can go very far. So, what I'm hoping... I think we can beat that other army now. So, we'll take another gamble, I guess. There it is. And uh, we'll get Edward and in. I mean, these, these troops are mercenaries and there's only one... And two of them, so get rid of them. I'm sure we can beat that now. They've taken so much damage that I'm sure that we can beat that. This army's pretty nice. We've got a load of elven troops in here. And we've got a load of cavalry. And we've got three generals. We've got some rangers. And we've got two cavalry generals as well. I don't think that's going to be as hard as it was last time anyway. Um, but yeah, we made a load of money that turn because of our <laughs> lack of... Uh, uh, you know, 
uh, our lack of troops now. So let's get that in there. We want the Great Hall. That's great. We'll get rid of the stables. Ballista Maker's fine. Practice range, we don't need that either. Uh, way station's actually good for us. And guard barracks. Let's get rid of that so that if they do take it back, you know, they can't uh, they can't recruit anything here. And then in terms of the rest of our troops, we're going to keep on recruiting up here. Can we recruit anything good in Karasant? Probably not. How about Strondost? Yeah, a couple of things. Let's get a... Uh, not the crossbows. We'll get them thorn guard in there. Uh, this ship doesn't have an army on it. Let's come across. Where were you going? Oh, you were going back for tra retraining at Santamui. In terms of other troops we have available, could you leave Rubar yet? You actually can. Fantastic. So you're going to take ages, but we'll send you down this way. Uh, Elgair. Do we need you? Not yet. No, we don't. Good. So we'll send you down here as well. And then, yeah, I think everyone else is fine. You could retrain you boys. Yeah, let's retrain them. You go and sit in the port. In fact, yeah, go over here and then we can maybe speed these guys' movements up slightly. Ah, well... Let's uh, let's start getting the barracks into Karasant. The same thing with Strondost as well. We want kind of want the Lord's Hall, but in Mataram's probably a bit more important. Let's get the Great Hall, and then we'll be able to start recruiting from Mataram as well once we get our culture up, which is nineteen percent right now. Is it better? I think it's better just to take the hit on the Master Mason's Hall for now, and go for that, uh, and then over this way. Let's get the meeting hall in. They're going to keep rebelling. Hopefully, don't fully rebel because that would be a bit annoying. Then in terms of the rest of our money, let's have a look. Where are we uh, not building? So, we're not building at Strondost. So, let's get the Lord's Hall so we can start building better barracks there. Naburka, we definitely want some roads. And then down here, Carverad. Let's get the grain exchange because Carverad's actually quite a decent city. And, of course, we lost Ilanin as well. So, we need an army to go north. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a bit, bit overstretched right now, aren't we? Little bit. <laughs> Little bit overstretched. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. So, we do, We you know, we've got plenty. We just need to make sure that we win with this army. So, let's see what happens. Got our spy coming down there. There's Oi Bamari. And Khand is evil, remember, again. But, yeah, I don't think they'll have many defenses in the back. I don't really want to go to war with them if we can help it. But, yeah, we'll just keep a watch at Oi Bamari and just make sure they're not sending any forces north. Because uh, they will go down the road. Ah, stop. Stop blockade blockading us, Rune. You don't even have anything around the Sea of Rune now. And you have ships going around raiding us. That's such a runic thing to do. You bastards. You bastards. Oh, God. But anyway, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, I mean, we were doing amazing. And now we've hit a robot. It's good to have a bit of challenge, though. And it looks like Rune hasn't even attacked us um, along the road. Uh, the Road of Rune. We're not going to be able to get our guy there. Our diplomat there. So, I don't know what you're talking about. We're going down to Rohan instead. Sorry, Council. And we built uh, some uh, dirt paths and everything in Austin Erie. Fantastic. That's great. We can now move a lot quicker across these lands. Just got to be careful with this army that, say, these guys don't attack us. And I ne just need to keep watching for mercenaries. Uh, where is the border? I think if we just pop across the border... Oh, well, there is actually mercenaries available here. Privateers. We'll take them. They cost a bit of cash, but they'll be fine. And then when we've got our boys back up, we'll be absolutely fine as well. Uh, lest we recruited... Uh, we retrained the Vineyard Bowmen. You guys, you know, keep coming down. Ah, oh, he went after Enmahalf. I think that's quite good for us. I think we've got to take that battle, haven't we? We've got to go for it. He's probably not going to siege down Enmahalf because, again, there's no rune um, around this region. You just stay there at Oibamari. 
Um, you guys keep coming down. You guys keep coming down. We'll, we'll uh, actually, we'll we'll meet up at uh, Mataram because you can form the basis of our, our army going into Mordor. So, yeah. Let's go. I think, you know, what we're going to do, we're going to attack them in a second. But let's have a look at the rest of our guys. Make sure we're all good. You just get there. Build the tower. We can see Dorthalu now. I'm uh, just wary of a uh, Kaidu the Fearless. <laughs> Bit of a scary bloke. Not going to lie. Right, let's build, say, the land clearance in here. We got, yes, we finally have some elves ready. And you boys need to come back and we'll retrain as many as we can of you right now. A lot of them won't be able to be retrained. And then this army can go up north, take Alanin, and come across. And we'll just start fighting Dolgador from this way. Dolgador's coming after Carverad as well. So let's get a bowman in there, just in case. Carverad should have bigger walls. Yeah, it should have those walls rather than the small walls. So that's definitely a lot help, lot more helpful. Uh, building the Lord's Hall in Strondost. Barracks in Karasant. Lest, let's build that Mason's Hall. We might as well. And then Mistrand. Build the Leather Worker. That's fine. We are building in Mataram. That's all that matters. To try and build that up. Same things across here. We need to get the ports. We need to get the ports upgraded and all that sort of thing. If we could build a ship here. We'll build a couple of ships and then we'll go around and just destroy the rest of their fleets. Because they're quite annoying, aren't they? Right. I think we go after uh, whatever his name is. Captain Monke. Again, they still have pretty decent troops. But if you see, they've not got much infantry. We've got a decent chunk of infantry, especially the elven boys. I'm just worried that Lok Narim will do a lot of damage. Long-range missiles. But we do have Athel here. We've got Avalyn as well. And we've got some Avari Shadows. So, you know, we've got to take out all their missile troops with our cavalry. Which we do have some good cavalry. We've got two Nah Naharim as well. Which is fantastic. So, let's get into the battle, guys. I'll see you there. Here we are, guys. And very likely, they'll probably take this hill. Or this one. Two very different hills, so we'll probably just set up in the middle, and we'll decide what we're going to do from there. So we're going to use our Thorn boys, like all our Darwinian boys at the front, including you boys, get you off that for now. So you can be grouped up, and then our, you know, Elven boys will use you on one flank to do a bit of a flanking maneuver. And then Athel here, and you... Can be our archers. And then Avalyn and you can also be our horse archer boys. Get you across here. And then the rest of our cavalry. Edwardin's recovered a lot now. So that's great. Oh, so they are pretty much just ahead of us. That's fantastic. That's something that we, you know. That's good for us. So let's come up. And then we'll get. Our archers in behind. We'll get our elven boys. They're coming forward. They, they're confident. That's kind of good for us. If they want to do that, I'm not too bothered. We'll bring uh, those boys up this way. Well, if they're going to do that, if they're going to come and attack us, let's, uh, let's just set up then. Get there. Get our elven boys in here. Thinking we'll get, bring them to the front line now. So they can flank. Then the cavalry. They don't have much cavalry. So what we'll do is we'll get our cavalry on this flank. Because we've got our Avari Naharim on the other one. Uh, and then archers. You just get there quickly. In fact, no. Get behind. We don't want you in front. So we've got to be careful. Remember, their archers are pretty decent. Are these guys firing yet? Who are they firing at? Is the question. So, let's get here. I think we could go for a, like a nice little charge in there right now. They're moving again. Good. Good for us. Um, so looks like they want to take that hill. Let's... Uh, 
Get up here. And uh, try to surround the boys. We'll get our cavalry up here as well. You guys keep firing for as long as you can. Oh, that's... Yeah, while we're here, let's charge them. This is a Rovanian rider as well. It's not even that important. So, let's get him. Stop them firing for a little bit at least. And uh, let's bring our boys forward as well. Right, I think we just need to get our elves into the fight. And uh, these uh, these boys can come up as well. Get going. Get our blade masters. Get there. They're going to charge with the dragon riders. That's fine by me. Where's our this cavalry guy? He's stopping them firing, which is great for us. Loke Flagrim, never really fantastic to fight. <laughs> You guys get in the spear wall. Oh, shit. Athala Rangers, get there. This is a bit messy right now, isn't it? Now get in. You guys charge the Dragon Riders. Blade Masters, get in there. We've got Dragon Riders behind us. We can get that flag rim. That'd be great. Vitna, Vitna Knights, just keep going. I think you, you might as well. Now get out. Now get out. God, these guys are getting shredded. Come on. Let's get through. Get those. You guys there. Get into the fight. You guys there. Avari Naharim firing, firing at the Dragon's Wrath Guildsman. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want. This is such a messy battle right now. Let's use some special abilities if we've got any. Leadership. Kill those boys. You guys can get in there as well. Are these guys actually going to, you know, charge in at some point? Come on. <laughs> Stop using all your goddamn arrows, bro. Dragon Riders behind. You guys need to come up. Let's uh, get you off that. Guys, charge in for God's sake. It's not the charge we want or need. Fight them. You guys can charge this Dragon's Wrath Guildsman now. So fight the Loknar Rim. Good. You guys need to be in sh shield wall as well. Guys, will you actually charge? Like, that is trash what you're doing right now. Kill those, those guys. Nice. Fourth win, it looks like, did die then. And it did say that we could ransom him. Ransom him so I don't know why fourth win has died, but not great for us. <laughs> right, those Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen are a bit obscenely good. So keep firing in there. We're going to try and get through the middle with these Rovanian guys. We really just need to stop their archers. Their archers are being ridiculously good right now. And I really want to destroy this whole army. Oh, we've we've shredded those boys. You guys get in the back there. You guys, Avari Warriors, let's go. Get in the Loknar Rim there as well. Right, who can we charge? Let's come forward. Right. Firing our last couple of uh, volleys. Oh, what a messy battle, huh? Our bladesmen have, uh, have wavered and run away. You get into there. You guys get these. These guys have just been so annoying, so let's get rid of them. How many have we killed? We've lost 40%. We've killed 70%. Charge these Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen now. The Avari Naharim. Let's go. Get rid of that. You don't need to be scared of them anymore. Oh, some good charges in there. Really good charge, in fact. We've pretty much killed them all. Good. Now out. Let's get those boys. Get up here. Daratai hunters have run away. Kill them. Oh, messy, but successful nonetheless. Get out. You go fight those boys. Let's use leadership again if we can. Fantastic. And then we'll get our cavalry. And who do we need to... Who do we need to kill now? It's just a Loknarim, I think. Has the Dragon's Wrath Gilsman died yet? Go kill him. 
Edward in, the big boy. Edward in's a beast, isn't he? There's also... There we are. Fantastic. Everyone should route now. Now you guys charge in there. Those boys have run. So you charge in there as well. Who's left? Just these dragon guard. Foolish dragon guard. But this charge should be good. Let's go straight through. I think that's everyone, you know. How many did we kill? 94, it's saying. So we might as well end the battle there. Yeah, we definitely killed more than enough to destroy that full army. Oh, messy, messy, messy battle, but finally got rid of them. Thorn Guard doing 177 casualties. Well done, boys. That is fantastic. I am just amazed by them every time. They're so good. <laughs> Why are they so good? But anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And we're going to execute. So that should destroy that army. And then we're hopefully going to be able to get into Enmahalf to stop it rioting for a turn. Quite a bit of damage to some of these units. I'm going to combine those Avari Spearmen. This five can go back next turn. So we're going to combine a lot of these boys, you know. Um, hopefully we can get that 177 with the... Yeah, there we are. It's got the experience now. Uh, the Shadows took a bit of damage, but that's fine. The Naharim are fine. Um, Thorn Riders, yeah. 76 with two, or do we want... Yeah, let's... Oh. There we are. Okay, 76 with two. So we'll send a few back for retraining next turn. And then, do we have any more troops? Yeah, we've got these guys coming down. Uh, but we kind of need to wait. We'll use the forts to our, uh, you know, we we'll use the forts around us that are available. Um, we could kill all these guys along the way as well that are coming this way. Because they will just become rebels if we destroy Rune. So good, I think we're at the end turn. So let's click that uh, end turn button. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad we got rid of that army. That should mean that Rune now is is pretty much gone as I, I can't see them putting up much more resistance. Surely. <laughs> Surely. We just need to make sure that Norway has a big enough army because his army right now is pretty, pretty trash. It's it's not great, is it? It's not the best army you've ever seen. Um, but look at that. Lok Khan, another Khan with 10 command. Why do they have so much command? That's crazy. I think we can defend Carverad against some Dolgador rats. Just got to be careful with Alanin up there. Um, but I, I don't think it'll be an issue. We've got to find a general for them as well. I'm wondering whether we send Edwardin up into the north. He's so powerful. I think, yeah, I think Edwardin is a good option as the commander in the north. So where are you? You're at Austin Erie. So... Bring you down to Varfest. You can uh, govern down there. Finally, we can get into into Varfest as well. Yes, and you... Let's get you up into the north to build some watchtowers up here as well. How are we doing in terms of our training? We can now get some Avari warriors. Retrain these two as well. And then we'll split this in half. I think... In terms of our armies, you know, we can send you back for retraining. We'll send this Thorn Guard as well. Send the Bladesman, and we'll send you and Edward in as well to go into the north, all the way back to Santanui. Going to take a little bit of time, but it's fine. We've got time, haven't we? We've got plenty of time. Enmahalf could do with something to make them happy. Which none of this does. So let's just get the Mason's Hall instead. And then Varfest can get that. Uh, got the Standing Stones now, so that's good. Uh, and then, yeah, Strondost, we've got some troops now as well. So these troops can go down into the south. You can go to Enmahalf. And then I'm sure we'll have pretty much near, near enough, a good enough army to... You know, take on Mordor. You guys go down to Mataram. You go down to Mataram as well. No constructions done this turn. Enmahalf will stick here for now. Can't retrain those boys just yet. Thorngard in there is not the greatest garrison unit. You keep coming up. Uh, Viltor is just a bit annoying that they took Viltor. Um, 
And then, yeah, when we're ready, we'll start sending some of these troops into uh, this fort. Let's get four troops in there. Have we got another full unit? Yeah, the Swordmasters. Send you up there. We won't need much of an army to go and take Ilanin. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering whether Norway can take Dorthalu and then Viltor. Oh, we do need to take Logarth as well, which I'm assuming is theirs. Oh no, it's Dolgador's. Hmm. We're a bit of a, a bind here between going here or here, but I think we can go through Dorthalu. We just need to wait for Harfast to come. And then we'll be good. And then end my half, like I say, we're going to chill for a little bit. We should just take Avalyn. And the Avari Naharim. And go and kill these guys. Should be an easy battle. Oh, the Avari Naharim took a bit of damage there. What's this? I mean, I think that's fine. I think we can beat that. So, let's fight it. Let's uh, prove that we can beat that then. So, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. And, of course, we're just going to use our archers to do most of their damage. And these boys as well. So, I want to take out their, you know, archer units. Because they'd be annoying if they start firing into us, killing our Avari Naharim. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get those guys start firing into them. They're firing now as well. So what I'm thinking is just charging them straight in the front. And just getting rid of as many of their archers as possible. Because that's the main damage that's going to come to us is from their archers. Um, so let's just charge straight in there. Get rid of them. Good. Now out, now out, before we get too much friendly fire. There we are. Good. Fire at the Dragon Riders. Now we'll come round. Uh, and then we'll try... Oh, they're just Daratai Warriors. So... Yeah. That's fine. We just need to kill this Baroon Hunters then. And then we've got free reign to do what we want. So let's come across this way. You get that way. Let's speed it up. Bit of a skirmish. Oh, we're shredding those uh, those guys. The dragon guard are quite good. No, actually, we'll uh, we'll charge into the baroon hunters again. I'm wondering, these guys can fire at them now. Get rid of the baroon hunters. Let's go, boys. Bit of friendly fires are always a little bit acceptable, you know. Oh, good charge. Good charge. Now we'll come out. How many have we lost? 7%. <laughs> Cavalry, just so powerful. Yeah, I'm just targeting the Dragon Guard because they're spearmen. So they're going to be a lot harder to charge into. And, uh, yeah, let's go. All right, you guys now, let's uh, fire at the Daratai Warriors. They should not be a, a hard subject to uh, fire at for your last couple of volleys just to, uh, you know, get rid of them. Let's come back. Come on, boys. This is good. This is good. Oh, I'm not looking forward to going into Mordor and just fighting Morgul rats for days. Let's charge into them. They've pretty much got no one left. Here come the Daratai Warriors. Let's go. Let's get in there. Get a charge off for the boys. Come out. Keep distracting them. Come on, boys. Big charge. Big charge. Let's go. Yeah. This is going to be a lot easier than what we uh, originally anticipated. Let's get out. Come on, boys. Get out of there. You guys get in there and we'll try and sandwich them. Once these guys are in, we'll charge them again. From the other way. Now let's go. Sandwich charge. Let's go. Oof, that was brutal charge. Did you see that? Sent so many of them flying. 
Come on, you elven boys. What glorious boyos. And let's get out. How many have we killed? 98. Fantastic. We only lost 11 men, killed 500. Pretty nice. The Avari Naram doing an absolute job there. Fantastic. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. So here we are. We'll execute them again. Make sure we destroy that unit. Now we've just got to make sure that we can get back. Ah, oh, plenty. Plenty of movement points. Fantastic. Very good. Very, very good. Well, guys, I think we're going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I know it's a slightly shorter one, but I've got to rush off and do something. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. If you are enjoying this series, guys, please consider giving it a like. Um, you know, helping out. It does really help out with the channel. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all again on the next video.